Hi, thanks for watching. I'm on my way to Harvey Bay to target those little black marlin. I've only just left the harbour as you've seen and I've come across some, uh, I don't know, they might be mac tuna. Anyway, they're not eating this little slug. Alright, that's not happening. Bigger fish to fry, let's get going. Yeah, so pretty well in a four day trip I only get two full days of fishing, so I always treat the first and last day as my travel days, but if I see busting fish on the way up to Watumba Creek, I'll be having a shot at them. So the greatest challenge with this trip is lining up your tides and your weather window. This trip was going to be a windy day on the way up, which it wasn't too bad as you can see. And then the next day was going to be a bit ordinary, and then I had a glamour day and it was gonna get blowy again for my trip home day. So yeah, it's always tight. Got a hit. Ah, uh, the mat tuna. Now that I know they're Mac Tuna, I think we'll move on. It's just that excitement when you first get here. Busting fish, got out of the cars. So I continued uh, up to the creek and uh, the tides are really important with a trip to Watumba Creek. They're massive and they really affect you. So I try to get a high tide in the morning and afternoons so I can get in and out of the creek. Uh, stay out all day on the low tide. Entrance hasn't changed too much, you can see by my tracks from last year. So it's always good when the forecast hasn't changed, as it often does in those last couple of days. Yeah, so very early start, put some fuel in and get out of the creek before the tide drops. Yeah, so there was a little bit of uh, sea running out of the south with that overnight breeze. But you can catch these little blacks pretty well from Watumba all the way through to Rooney Point, so I thought I'd get a spread out of lures and have a bit of breakfast underway. So if you look on my chart plotter here, this gives you a bit of an overview of the 
top end of Fraser Island. You can see all my tracks there. Uh, and that's me ambitiously boiling egg. Righto, we're out fishing. So I'm just trolling up to Rooney Point this morning while I have a bit of brekkie. So running four lures is probably not the smartest thing to do when you're a solo angler, but um, I can't help myself. Anyway, you'll see, it actually caught me out a few times. You're better off just one or two rods. And that's what happens when you don't use a gaff. <laughs> nice spotty, anyway. Yeah, so at this stage I had three skirts out in the spread and I was also running a Halco two meter just for a bit of meat. Um, as you can see, in quick succession I, I got these spotty mackerel so I, I took the uh, halco out of the spread after this and just concentrated on marlin fishing. running three lures now and uh, look at them back there showering into little bait big spotties anyway we, we, we got our limit and uh, but I can give a, a fish to someone in the anchorage tonight and they'll be happy all right I want a little black marlin yeah so that's Rooney Point just here pretty nondescript little bit of sand that juts out but it's got this great drop off here that goes down 20 meters or so right off the beach and uh there's bait flicker in this back there or in fact it's all the way along here anyway it is incredible here but do not swim here it's mad i've seen big tigers going right along the shallow okay, duck around the corner for lunch i think it's been a hectic morning Yeah, so I was just looking for a bit of calm water around the corner of Rooney Point there, which it was still a bit sloppy with the southerly, but at least I could have lunch and fix a lot of these lures up. I'd had a fair bit of uh, carnage there in the morning on those spotty mackerel. Anyway, after a quick feed, it was time to get back around the corner and start trolling some skirts. And as you can see, the action was just on. That's a double header there. I got two on jumping, one you can't see jumping out way out to the left. And the one you could see jumping was the corner rod. So I jumped both of those off. So you'll see a lot of this footage is just all thrown together. I, I missed so many strikes. I jumped so many fish off before I even got the camera on. Anyway, it was great fun. Just absolutely crazy for the rest of the day really. Yeah, I can't tell you how many trips I've had up here where, you know, I've missed the fish by a few weeks or they just weren't on the bite. And I've had zeros for, you know, two, three days trolling. But uh, to actually land here when the fish were on, have the whole place to myself, yeah, it was amazing. But yes, I should say, you're gonna see some poor angling, poor deck work, poor boat driving and poor filming here. Just uh, doing it all on your own, it just is so hard. Nice one, release, woo! But that's what I love about solo fishing. And that's what I love about catching little marlin solo. I mean, marlin fishing is a team sport. It's a, you know, a good angler, a good skipper, good crew are crucial to catching marlin and I'm trying to do it all on my own here out of a little 18 footer on a, on a rough old day and film. But as I say, I do love that challenge. Not to mention, this is a very small boat for extra crew. <laughs> Another release right next to the beach on this one. 
difficult. What a day. That's number 11, uh, 11 strikes. A shark actually just came right up in the shallows and tried to grab that fish. Um, anyway, I pulled the hook again. So I'm going to call it quits. Oh, there's a big shark's up behind the boat now. Um, very little film of it all, I'm sorry. It's just been absolute chaos. Especially that double header. <laughs> Lost both of those, but... And I've had it all to myself because it's been so rough up here. What a great day at Rooney Point. This place is world class. It's mad. Anyway, I've got to get back to the creek now or I'm going to get shut out with the low tide. So, nice to get a good anchorage for the night. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, so from the tip of Rooney Point down to Watumba Creek's about 13 nautical miles. And uh, generally it's a great run because you've got that wind blowing off the shore. But there's nothing like coming into that beautiful little creek on high tide in the evening and having a swim and walking across and watching a lovely sunset. So another early start to get out of the creek on the uh, tide and today was the glamour day in the forecast and thankfully it was living up to that. So after yesterday's action right up the top I just hightailed it straight up to Rooney's and started trolling. So with this great forecast, you can see everyone was here today. So no one yesterday, and today I had about 25 trailer boats. Good luck, boys. That's a couple of mates of mine from Brisbane, and uh, they had chartered Andrew Chorley, who operates uh, Harvey Bay Fly and Sport Fishing. They are the guys to go to, and I highly recommend it. The experts are putting you on those little blacks on fly or conventional tackle but they're so in tune to it they're doing it every day and uh, he's a great guy yeah so there wasn't much happening um, I got that bite early but I'd only seen a couple of fish caught through the morning so I uh, thought it was time to have a bit of a swim and lunch just a word of warning do be careful swimming there we've uh, we all got interrupted with a big tiger shark coming through the boats one day. So I think I've got these lures looking pretty good, these skirts, just on the front of the waves, the pressure waves. Maybe Peter Pakula or some of my Hawaiian Marlin captain mates might have a few pointers for me, but they were tracking quite nicely I thought. And doing the job. this on film so I just had one come up on the short corner there got him on just clearing the other lines he was he looked good he was jumping everything was good and he dropped dropped the uh, hook again so I'm gonna investigate this I'm losing too many fish terrible conversion rate solo or not you should shouldn't I shouldn't be having this much bad luck anyway it's actually all good fun Marlin on that one okay so right. watch the rod in the center the long right rigger we're looking at, but the rod in the centre. On it. Here he goes. Got him on. Oh, 
So look, these fish do a lot better if you leave them in the water when you're releasing them, but if it's your first one, I get it. Take a photo and then release it again, but best done in the water. Well, that was a fairy tale finish. I was literally on my way back to Watumba now, last day. I don't know what was going on there, but those bites, that's what it's all about anyway for me. I saw, I don't know, 15, 16, I think. 16 fish now in a day and a, two days. That was epic. Yeah, it's hard to wipe the smile off my face. A couple of amazing days. I've only done that a couple of times in my life, those sort of numbers. A lifetime of marlin fishing, so it is rare. And as I say, don't be oversold by this video. I've had so many trips up here where I haven't seen a fish. But when it all comes together, wow. So with so many boats in the creek this evening, it forced me to be further upstream than I normally anchor in. So I swam out and just to check on that anchor, make sure it was not gonna move. And uh, as that tide went out later on in the evening, I was gonna pull myself out and just hang straight off the anchor there. But as it was, I ended up sitting in the bottom. Luckily the boat stayed level because I sleep on it. But these guys all have campsites and they're happy to let their boats dry out on the bank overnight. Anyway, last night I thought I'd better go over and look at the lovely sunset catch up with a few people. In fact, one guy there told me the reason they're there is because he's seen a few of my early videos of Watumba Creek, so that was lovely to hear that. It's always so hard to leave beautiful gin clear water. Just a point of interest too guys, at dead low water it's like Coca-Cola coloured water just so you know all the tannins from up and upstream and this is just pretty well a little sort of five metre gutter that's left there otherwise it's all sand flats. So thanks for watching and uh, subscribe to my uh, Professional Boat Care YouTube channel and check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And I've got lots of other videos on the uh, channel there of trips I do on clients' boats out into the Coral Sea and up in Cairns. So check those out and we'll see you next time. Cheers.